In a lush forest where every bird's song filled the air with music and the trees swayed to the rhythm of the wind, there lived a crow. His feathers were as dark as the midnight sky, and he often found himself gazing at his reflection in the river, consumed by feelings of inadequacy and sorrow. This crow named Corvus was deeply unhappy with his appearance in life. His black feathers made him feel unattractive, and his hoarse caw seemed unrefined compared to the melodies sung by the nightingale or the vibrant chatter of parrots. Each day as he scavenged for food, he couldn't help but notice how people ignored him or shoot him away, preferring the company of more colorful and pleasant birds. Corvus spent many days in solitude, hiding in the treetops, where his tears would fall like raindrops on the leaves below. He envied the bright plumage of other birds and wished desperately to be anyone but himself. If only I were a swan, or a parrot, or even a peacock, he thought. Then maybe, just maybe, I could be happy. One day, as Corvus sat brooding in his misery, a wise and gentle monk, who often walked through the forest, noticed the crow's sorrow. He approached Corvus with a kind smile. My dear crow, why do you cry so? With a heavy heart, Corvus replied, Look at me, kind monk. I am nothing but a shadow with wings. My feathers are black and dull. No one loves me. No one wants me around. I spend my days picking through garbage while other birds are adored and admired. The monk, sensing the depth of Corvus's pain, nodded thoughtfully and asked, If you could become any other bird, which would you choose to be? Without a moment's hesitation, Corvus answered, A swan. They are graceful and beautiful. Their white feathers shine like pure light, and they glide across the water with such elegance. The monk smiled gently. Very well, but before I grant your wish, why don't you visit a swan and see if it truly leads the life you believe it does? Intrigued by the monk's suggestion, Corvus flew across the forest to a tranquil lake where swans often gathered. As he landed by the water's edge, he marveled at the swan's pristine feathers and graceful movements. Summoning the courage to speak, he said, Oh, swan, you are so beautiful. Surely you must be the happiest bird in the world. The swan turned her head towards Corvus and sighed softly. Who told you that I am happy, little crow? My beauty comes at a price. My white feathers may look pure, but they remind people of coldness and death. I am often left alone, for many believe I am a symbol of sorrow. And while I may glide smoothly on the surface, Beneath the water, I must paddle relentlessly just to stay afloat. Corvus was taken aback. He had never considered the burdens that might come with such beauty. I had no idea, he murmured. Returning to the monk, Corvus shared what he had learned. The monk listened patiently and then suggested, Perhaps you would prefer to be a parrot. They are vibrant and can mimic the speech of humans, bringing joy wherever they go. Eager to find happiness, Corvus set off to find a parrot. After a long journey through the dense jungle, he finally encountered one. The parrot was perched high in a tree, its feathers gleaming in the dappled sunlight. You are so colorful and your voice is so pleasing, Corvus remarked. Surely your life is full of joy. The parrot let out a melodic whistle, but then replied, My bright colors do attract attention, but not all of it is good. I often blend into the green of the jungle, making me hard to find and leaving me isolated. And though I can mimic human speech, people often cage me for their amusement, stripping away my freedom. Once again, Corvus found himself surprised. He had always envied the parrot's vibrant life, but now he saw that even this bird had its own struggles. Confused and disheartened, Corvus returned to the monk. It seems that being a swan or a parrot is not as wonderful as I thought he admitted. The monk smiled gently. Indeed, every life has its challenges, but perhaps you might find joy in becoming a peacock. Their feathers are the envy of all, shimmering with every color imaginable. With renewed hope, Corvus flew to a nearby village where peacocks roam freely. He watched in awe as a peacock fanned out his tail feathers, creating a breathtaking display of colors. 
Surely you must be the most admired and envied of all birds, Corvus said. But the peacock lowered his feathers and replied with a sad voice, My beauty is both a blessing and a curse. Humans hunt me for my feathers, plucking them one by one, causing me great pain. And though my appearance is dazzling, I live in constant fear of being captured or harmed. This revelation struck Corvus deeply. He realized that the peacock, despite its beauty, was not as carefree and happy as he had imagined. I never knew that such beauty could bring so much suffering, Corvus whispered. Returning to the monk for the final time, Corvus was overwhelmed with the wisdom he had gained. It seems that every bird, no matter how beautiful or admired, has its own set of challenges and pains. I never realized how fortunate I am to live freely, without the burden of constant fear or the pressure to please others. The monk nodded. You see, Corvus, each creature is unique, with its own strengths and challenges. Comparing yourself to others will only bring sorrow, for you cannot truly know their struggles. Instead, embrace your own life, your own journey. Appreciate the freedom you have, the simple joys that fill your days, and the qualities that make you who you are. With these words, a light of understanding dawned in Corvus's heart. He flew back to his forest, but this time, he did not see his black feathers as a burden. Instead, he saw them as a symbol of resilience and adaptability. He no longer envied the lives of other birds, but cherished his own. Corvus began to appreciate the beauty of his flight, the joy of scavenging for food, and the freedom to explore the world without fear. He realized that happiness was not something to be found in another's life, but something to be nurtured within his own. From that day on, Corvus lived his life with gratitude and contentment. He no longer cried over what he was not, but smiled at what he was. The wise monk's words stayed with him, a guiding star in his heart. Never compare yourself to others. Everyone has their own challenges and strengths. Embrace your uniqueness and appreciate the life you have. And so Corvus, the once unhappy crow, became a symbol of self-acceptance and inner strength, teaching others through his journey that true happiness comes from within.